Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So in this video we will understand what is campaign management in Salesforce. Before moving to the campaign management, first we need to understand what is meant by campaign means. So for example, your company developed or manufacture any product. So after the product manufacturing, you have to tell people that we have developed this product and this is the benefit our product. So the people will show interested to buy your product. Now there are multiple ways to tell people or customer that we have developed that product. For that what can you do? You will do email marketing, then you will give advertisement in the newspapers and using them you will try to tell customers about your product. So we can call this campaign. Now let's understand what is campaign management in Salesforce. In Salesforce campaign is a feature that allows us to manage, measure and analyze advertisement initiatives. It also provides a platform for organizing multiple marketing initiatives tracking their success and understanding their impact on sales. Now here you can see the feature of campaign object. So the campaign object helps us organizing and tracking marketing activities. Then in the marketing it will be the email marketing campaign, then webinar or an ad campaign. So the using of this campaign object we can monitor the success of efforts. That means it helps us track the engagement, budget and ROI. ROI means return of investment. After that campaign can improve collaboration between marketing and sales team by providing specific information about lead engagement. After that it provides accurate data and streamline strategy to ensure that our marketing operations become more efficient, data driven and scalable as our organization grows. Now let's create campaign in Salesforce so that we can arrange and control the marketing operation in single platform. So without any delay, let's jump to the Salesforce org. Now here we know the campaign is used to marketing purpose. So let's navigate to the campaign object. For that here you can see app launcher, click on it. Then in the search text, we need to search for sales. Here you can see here we have sales application, click on it. Now in the sales application we have different objects like account, lead, contact, reports, task and campaigns. So when we launch any product. For the marketing purpose we need to do campaign and campaign is used to arrange and control marketing operation. It also allows us track leads, calculate ROI and segment of audience for targeted conversation. So let's create campaign for that here you can see we have campaign object click on it. Now to create new campaign here we have new button click on it. Now here first we need to fill the details of this campaign. Then here in the campaign name we need to provide name of the campaign. For example, your company just launched the Apple Watch which is version 2.0. So in the campaign name, we can provide that product name. Here I am entering Apple Watch 2.0. Then here we have one checkbox field. If we check this field, that means it is our active campaign. For that here I am checking this. Then as you scroll down, here we have types of campaign. As you click on this drop down list, here you will see different different types of campaign. Here we have conference, webinar, trade show, public relation, then partners, referral programs. There are different different campaign types and you need to select what type of campaign you want to do. So here I will select webinar. Then we have status. The status means our campaign current status such as here you can see as you click on this. Here we have different status plan in progress completed and then aborted. If you just plan this then you can select this plan status. If your campaign in progress then you can select this. If your campaign is completed then you can select this and if your campaign is aborted then here we have aborted option. Now here I will select in progress. After that here we need to select start date and end date of campaign. So here I will select 9th of December and then end date will be 21th of December. Now in this duration we will do our campaign. After that here you can enter expected revenue. How much revenue we are expecting from this campaign? So here I am entering any random amount. Now this revenue I am expecting from this campaign. After that we have budgeted cost in campaign. Now this is nothing but total budget set for this campaign. So for example our company gives us this much of amount for this campaign. Now this is the budgeted cost in campaign. But we don't know how will be the actual cost for this campaign that means it will be the less from the budgeted cost or it will be the higher than the budgeted cost. So the actual cost we will know after the campaign will finished. So let's assume that the actual cost is more than budgeted cost. So here. Now here we have expected response. 
here we need to enter the number of responses that we are expecting from this campaign so here i am entering at least 50 percent of responses i am expecting from this campaign after that we have num sent in campaign so here you need to provide how many of you invited for this campaign so here i am entering 10 and then here we have parent campaign here we need to select if this campaign is a part of other campaigns then we have to mention the name of that parent campaign as you click on this field here you can see it is showing another campaigns that means it is a lookup field with self relationship so the self relationship in salesforce the video i have given in description box you can go through it so you will understand what is self relationship in salesforce so at this moment i am not selecting any this in parent campaign i am leaving it blank here you can enter description about your campaign and then simply click on save now our campaign has been successfully created now for the parent campaign i will create new campaign for that again click on this campaign and click on new button so here i only enter the campaign name because i only want to show the created campaign is part of this campaign for that here i am entering summer 2024 and then click on save now again open the campaign that we created for the apple watch here i am opening this and now to see the value that we entered here you can see we have details option click on it as we open this detail page here we can see some extra field with zero values so this value we don't have while creating new campaign after creating the campaign and opening the details page now here we can see this value so these value are nothing but the roll up summary fields of campaign object which displays the value of related objects now the related object means which object are in relationship with campaign object now here we have leads object then contact object then also we have opportunity object in relationship with campaign object now first i will show you the parent campaign field so as you scroll down here you can see parent campaign click on this edit icon and now here i will select this summer 2024 as i select this campaign and then simply click on save now here you can see under the campaign name here we have one icon as you over this icon view campaign hierarchy as i click on this icon now here you can see the apple watch 2.0 campaign is under of summer campaign which is parent campaign of this campaign so this is the parent campaign field in the campaign object now let's open this campaign again go to the details now here i will explain this roll up summary fields so the leads in campaign shows us how many leads we invited for this campaign so here you can see here we have leads object which stores the information about leads the leads are nothing but potential customers now let's invite some of leads for this campaign for that here you can see here we have related tab click on it and then as you scroll down here you can see here we have campaign members and in that we have two options add leads and then add contacts as i click on this add leads now here we need to select leads record so that we can invite them so here i am selecting these three leads and then click on next now here you can see we have member status option as you click on it here we have two options sent and then responded now the first time we are sending invitation to these leads for that select the status sent and then click on submit now again go to the details and then refresh the page again click on details now here you can see i have sent information to the three leads and then leads in campaign the value populated of three leads then i will explain converted leads in campaign later after that we have contacts in campaign this is the same as leads in campaign again click on related then in the campaign members add contacts here i will select four contacts you can select any random contacts there is no need to select sequentially here you can see four items selected and then click on next again here we need to select status sent and then click on submit again go to the details refresh and now here you can see in the contacts in campaign value populated as four now again response in campaign i will explain later now we have opportunities in campaign now here we need to select how many opportunities or deals did we get from this campaign that means how many customers are interested to buy our product for that again go to the related tab here you can see opportunities 
click on new here we need to enter opportunity name for example this ts infotech company wants to buy your product then enter amount and then click on save again go to the details now here you can see opportunities campaign one that means this one customer is interested to buy our product after that here you can see the value of opportunities in campaign before it was zero but when i create the opportunities in campaign and enter the value of one lakh in that opportunities it populated over here if i create another opportunity and enter the amount that amount will get added into the value of opportunity in campaign field now let me show you converted leads in campaign for that again go to this related tab then scroll down here you can see campaign members click on view all and now from these three leads we got two lead responses for that here i am selecting these two responses and they responded us that they want to buy our product so here i have selected these two leads and then click on and then click on this update status now before status was sent now here i am changing to responded and then click on save again go to the campaign apple watch details and now here you can see response in campaign updated as value 2 that means we received two responses from the campaign member and these two responses we received from the lead as you click on this related tab scroll down and here you can see two leads responded now one of them really want to buy our product so as i click on this lead name again click on the lead name and now here you can see the lead status it's working contacted now here i'm changing the status click on this pencil icon and now i'm changing this lead status to closed converted and then click on save after changing the status here you can see click on this drop down and here we have convert option click on it here i'm not doing anything here i am just converting the lead for that click on convert button and again convert now the lead converted to the account contact and opportunity here i am closing this one and then again open the campaign object open the apple watch campaign details and now here you can see converted leads in campaign here we have one lead converted So in this way we can use campaign object in Salesforce to manage the marketing activities. If you like the video hit the like button, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thank you.